everyone uh, so this is the second tutorial of this series so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to generate a sine wave with a given frequency and sample rate so the formula we are going to use is this one a sine omega t plus phi so a is here amplitude omega represent angular frequency which can also be written like 2 pi f where f is the frequency of signal and phi is the phase so first of all we will import uh, two packages first one is numpy and second one is matplotlib dot plot so here we will specify the sampling rate So the sampling rate specify how many samples we need per second. So 44,100 sample we are going to take per second. Now when we have the sampling rate and we need to find out what's the time duration for one sample. So we can compute that with this formula. So this t represents the time period of one sample. Now we need to specify for how longer duration we want to generate a signal. So if you can see here, th these are the number of sample per second. So if I am saying I want to generate a signal of uh, 30 seconds, so there will be half of these samples. So that time I have to specify here for how long duration we want to generate the signal. So let's go for 0.1 second. Now uh, next we have to uh, calculate how many data points will be there. So just look at here. These are the number of samples per second and we want number of samples for this duration. So how we can do that, we can multiply sampling rate with time. So this n will give us the number of sample for this duration. Next we are going to specify the frequency for our signal. So let's say make it 100 hertz. So from this formula, if you can see, uh, if we have a frequency, we can compute the angular frequency. So omega would be 2 multiply pi. So I'm using pi from numpy package multiply with frequency. Okay. So now we have to generate a time sequence for which we are going to compute the sine wave. Now we know the number of uh, time points we need to generate is n. So we can simply write np dot a range n. So this np dot a range, this uh, function allow us to generate a sequence for these many number of points. Now the thing is that uh, these are the number of points and it should represent the time according to our time period. So we need to multiply this every number in the sequence with this time period. okay so now we are all set to generate our sine wave we will use our formula np dot sine then omega t sequence so for this tutorial i'm not using any phi value so i'm considering phi equal to zero and amplitude equal to one And now let's plot this.
so this is our sine wave generated for a given frequency and sampling rate so here this x-axis is showing the time and this axis is showing the amplitude now uh, one more time why I have specified in this way so let's say if you are wondering why I have multiplied it t if I want to multiply it with t how it will look like so now it's uh, showing this as second and this is not the so these are the normal numbers the, this is not in second so in order to convert these number into time according to our given time period which is this one so that's why I have multiplied it with t thank you very much for watching